Here are five surprising ways to attract realtors without spending a dime. I'm Nick Carpenter. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're covering five ways you can attract realtors as a mortgage broker, as a loan officer, without spending any money. Obviously, everybody can go out there and throw money at problems. We're going to talk today about five ways you can do it without spending a single dime. All right, so the first thing you can do is a way that you can stand out on people's birthdays, okay? So if you, I'm going to just look at my phone while I'm talking about this particular strategy because I'm going to be doing it through the Facebook app, okay? So if you go into the Facebook app and you go to that, um, this magnifying glass up here and you search for birthdays, all right, it'll pull up and it'll look like this, right? And you can see how many people have birthdays today. So in my case, there's seven. All right, so if I go to that list and I see who it is, number one, as a sidebar, if there's anybody on the list that you don't like anymore or you don't want to be connected with, this is a great way you can call your friends list on a daily basis as well. Um, so in my case, the first person here is Valerie McCann, right? And so if you go to their profile and you just click on message, you can go to that and then you can see that you can click the camera icon on the bottom and if we I'll kind of just leave it turned around this way so you can see but you can see it's like gonna be able to take a video right now I'm gonna turn it around so that it's actually making a video of me so in this case like this right and um, we can shoot a little video all right and the, basically the video is gonna be hey Valerie happy birthday I hope today's amazing I hope everybody's treating you like a queen that with the way you deserve to be treated and uh, just want to tell you happy birthday you're awesome Okay, so make sure you're going to say their name at least once. So in the very beginning, right, it's like, hey, Valerie, happy birthday. And then you, it could also be at the end, right? Hey, again, just want to tell you happy birthday, Valerie. Hope your day is awesome, right? And because we want it to be abundantly clear that this video was shot specifically for them today, for their birthday, okay? So um, it only takes a couple minutes to do this strategy. I mean, literally, I have seven people on my list. That's probably like three minutes, maybe, probably less, two and a half minutes of actual time shooting the videos. And it opens up a ton of conversation. Because let me ask you this. You know, number one, are you currently doing this strategy? Okay, but besides that, when it's your birthday, how do people tell you happy birthday, right? Everybody today either posts on your Facebook wall or they send you a text message. It's so disconnected. And so obviously if you wanted to, you know, if you really know these people, make a phone call is going to be more impactful. But as a social media connection, send them a personal video message as a on their birthday early in the day. Don't do this late in the day. It needs to be done early. The earlier the better, right? Because we want to be a forethought we want them to feel like a forethought, not an afterthought, okay? So the earlier, the better. And then what's going to happen is inevitably they are going to respond to this. Now, of course, nobody ever responds to your Facebook wall post saying happy birthday because 200 or 500 other people did the same thing. But in this case, if you do it a little differently, make a video. This is all totally for free. They're going to reply back, and that's when you can take it and try to move the relationship forward. Right, so my suggestion would be like, hey, by the way, I've got this little checklist or whatever, right? Have some sort of offer to move people into. So, like in our case, for like inside the Legion of Loan Officers, we go, hey, by the way, I've got this little 21 point checklist. It helps me find marketing gaps in your business. Would you be opposed to jumping on Zoom like tomorrow or the next day, you know, for 10 minutes and we could kind of go over that checklist real quick and see if there's any way I can help you with, you know, any gaps you might have? Okay, people are going to be very receptive to that, especially after you've sent them a nice personalized video message. So you can kind of move that relationship forward in a totally free way using the Facebook birthday videos. All right, the second way that you can attract realtors without spending a dime is to invite them to a class. All right, now, if you happen to watch this video on Monday or you currently call realtors on Mondays, obviously I've covered that in a different video. I'll try to drop the card around here if you want to watch that video. but. Um, you know, there's a strategy for Monday calls that is working really well right now, and it's not about what maybe like the old school kind of dinosaurs are teaching today. It's around actually inviting them to an event, having something planned within the next two weeks, and you know, inviting them to come to meet you face to face at a group event. And so, uh, this strategy of inviting realtors to a group event is so effective. Um, it's the same reason you look at 
game shows, reality TV, The Bachelor, all these things where they start with a big group to get down to one winner or two winners. And that's all we're looking for, right? Is we want to get 20 realtors to show up at an event. That's going to get us three referral partners. We just know the math, you know? I mean, sometimes it's going to get us more, but very rarely is it going to get us less. And so, I mean, 15% conversion is what you could expect from running live events. And, and that's totally free, right? It's like calling them, invite them to your event, run the event for free. I mean, it, you know, you can do that entire process completely for free. And that's another surprising way that you can go out there and attract realtors without spending a dime. All right, strategy number three is around kind of what we just talked about a minute ago, but filling gaps, right? So everybody has gaps in their marketing, in their business. You do, I do, every realtor does. We, we all do, right? It's just the nature of like having a business. So if you can go out there and you can find a gap that a realtor has and you know how to help fill that gap, okay, that's a really easy transition into a relationship. I'm going to give you an example, okay? If you go and Google any realtor in your market that you want to work with and you see what shows up on Google page one, right? Number one, do they have a video that shows up? If not, maybe you can help them with that. Do they not have very many Google reviews? You can help them with that. You know, um, do they have zero Yelp reviews or Realtor.com or Zillow reviews? You could help them with that. You know, so there's different gaps that you can help fill that are pretty simple, um, but a really easy one, obviously, is always around Google reviews. Everybody wants more Google reviews. Um, people are not sure how to get them, so if you have a way to do that, which it's very simple. It's just calling the people and being basically asking for the review, you know. Um, I think you can have a little more scripting around it than just simply asking for the review. But if you actually sit down with a realtor and call their database for them, like it's an awesome way to build the business, you know, build a relationship because you're sitting there shoulder to shoulder. Even though the realtor has always been too busy to call the people themselves, they will sit there with you the entire time that you're calling uh, through their database for them. And so um, it's a way that you can build a relationship sitting shoulder to shoulder. And we know inside the Legion, just from math, that as an average, it takes us four hours of time spent with a new realtor in order to get the first referral. And then after that, it's up to you, right, that you do awesome things. So um, finding a gap that you can fill for a realtor, that's another way that you can attract agents, get referrals from partners, without spending a dime. Strategy number four is around social media and it's this concept that I like to call backwards storytelling. So if you look at social media as a general statement, how do mortgage professionals talk about loans and getting loans done, right? It's about the actual loan itself. It's not about the client story. So that's why people post those UWM clear to close graphics and stuff like that, you know? It's like to impress other loan officers. Like that stuff has no bearing or um, understanding from a normal human being that doesn't, you know, is in the mortgage business. It's to be no different if you see a dentist talk about how fast he got some braces done or a lawyer, how fast he got a case closed or um, a doctor, how fast he got a patient in and out. You know, I mean, it's, is, is that really a brag? I mean, it's just like part of the job, right? So Backward storytelling is the idea of taking yourself out of the story as the main character, even though I fully recognize your ego wants you to be the main character in the story. But if you remove yourself out as the main character, um, then the client can become the main character, right? And that's who we want the stories to be about, is about the client and how, what did they want to accomplish and what were they trying to achieve and how at some point along the, their journey, they met you and that's what allowed, you know, you as the guide, you guys locked arms together, ran down the path and, and you know, together you achieved the goal. And so you're, you're always going to be in the story, right? But you're the guide, you're not the main character. So think about that next time you start talking about mortgages and transactions and loans and stuff on Facebook is how you know are you putting the client first in the story about what they wanted to accomplish what their goal was how you know how did you guys meet at some point down the path and then you figured out a way to make their goal accomplishable or you know to get to the goal and then together you guys locked arms and made it happen
right? And then at the end of those type of stories, like those backwards stories, you just want to soft sell. You don't need to sell like a super hard sell. Call me. We can definitely help you do the same thing, right? Uh, I can help you with the same loan because like you don't know. So soft sell. Just sell the, the conversation. Hey, reach out to me. Maybe something that we did for this family can help you too. I don't know for sure. Let's try it out. It's possible. Let's see. We'll figure it out together. I don't know, right? Let's just have a quick chat about it. So um, backward storytelling, amazing way to attract uh, realtor partners um, for free and obviously clients as well because people can relate to the story. They can put themselves in the shoes of the client versus like it's hard to put ourselves in the shoes of a lender because we're not lenders. So something to think about, are you telling backward stories? Great way to attract realtors without spending a dime. The last strategy I've got for you, strategy number five, is the Tuesday open house call. Now listen, I know I, I referenced it earlier, the, mon, the, the dinosaurs in the, in the world of mortgage coaching and training have been telling people to call realtors on Mondays forever. But we actually figured out a different way to call realtors on a Tuesday for a specific reason, okay? So we're gonna basically, you can look in Zillow or realtor.com or if you have local MLS access and we're pulling up um, open houses. And we can look at, you know, on Zillow or realtor.com, you can just check the box that says it has to have an open house and you can see who's having open houses. As a general statement, by Tuesday, everybody has their open house scheduled. And so that's the perfect day to look and see are there realtors that you want to reach out to? It could be based on the area that the open house is happening in, or it could be based on the agent that's hoping that's hosting the open house, right? Either way, that gives you a good reason that you want to reach out. And you can call the agent with an offer to help them run an open house ad. So it's like, hey, are you running an ad for your open house? Like to drive traffic to come and see the house this weekend? No, you're not. Okay. That's kind of what I what I was expecting. And I help realtors with this all the time, so I don't know if that's something that your current lender is doing for you, but I'd love to help you with that. The way it works is basically, you know, you just pay the ad budget. I recommend $100. Um, you could choose the budget, though, and um, yeah, we basically, we, we're going to run the full, whatever budget you put in, we're going to run that full amount into ads. We're going to generate leads. I'm going to send you the leads in real time as they come in. Um, if you prefer, we can generate not only buyer leads, but also seller leads they're a little bit more expensive, but they're seller leads. And um, yeah, so I hope you drive traffic, get a bunch of more people to your open house, get a bunch of leads beforehand. And if you love it, we can do it again. If not, we don't have to do it again. Like, was that something you'd be opposed to? Right, so it's a pretty cool offer. Obviously you have to, you know, get a little bit of skills around Facebook ads to be able to go and do that for your realtors. But this is a way that for free, without spending a dime, you can attract realtor partners, you can demonstrate value, you can create that lopsided relationship that we want to build so that they are you know, almost forced to do something for us, and then that's how you're going to get that first transaction, right? So, uh, and, and you know, this particular strategy, number five, I love it because you get a bunch of leads for free. Like, if you spend a hundred bucks, if you're just going after just buyer leads, that's probably like two, three dollars a lead, you know? So we're talking about 30, 40, 50 leads, could be more, depending on you know, if your market is crazy, I mean, some places we're getting them for a dollar. I mean, that's nuts, right? To think you can go get a hundred free leads. All right, so that's what I've got for you today. Five different ways you can attract realtor partners without spending a dime. And it is very possible today to build a business without spending a ton of money. Now, obviously, once you have some money, spend some money, you know, write small checks to cash big checks, that kind of concept. But in the beginning, or, you know, if you just don't want to spend money or don't have it right now, those are some different ways you can do that, right? So if you need to, go back, watch the video again, and actually pick something to implement, right? Like doers win, duckers lose, so hopefully you're out there doing something. And um, if you like this kind of stuff, check out legionofloanofficers.com, grab a phone call with me, legionofloanofficers.com slash intro, and we have three high-level goals for people in the Legion. Number one, generate your own consumer direct leads at will anytime you want to. Number two, is to become a local celebrity using those ads that kind of follow people around on the internet. And number three is to be able to run a one hour, once a month live event that attracts realtor partners, converts at least 15% of the room 
into referral partners within 30 days and so that's what we're doing in the legion and again hey if you're here awesome i really appreciate you make sure you like and subscribe to the channel hit the bell button so that you can get notified as i drop new content and if you have ideas let me know in the comments again appreciate you for being here later